Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm using the Nubian 3 Coral Palette from Juvia's Place. I have several Juvia's Place palettes. I've actually given one to my sister-in-law for her to try and she ended up buying this. I was kind of like on a no-buy for new makeup. I just hadn't seen anything that really intrigued me. I did see this and then thought, I don't know, will it work? Do I need it? So then I watched Sabrina the Makeup Mom, or Sabrina, or Sabrina Ecker. She changed her name, and I'm drawing a blank on which one it is. But I'll put her link below into her review on this palette. So I watched the review on the palette, and I thought, ooh, I do need this. Mama's going to buy it. So Mama bought it. Today, we only use the grays. So I'm going to give you a review on only the grays, the colors that I've used. I'm going to do a second look tomorrow using the peachy colors. So this part of the review is only on the grays. As far as the palette goes, I've already made a mess. Sorry. It's been a messy day. The uh, palette is a cardboard sleek palette. It is of a good quality as far as the palette goes. So no problems there if you're traveling. Now I did use the four grays. I have this color up into the brow bone. I use this on the outer part of the eye. I used this gray gunmetal in the middle and then I took this gray and kind of started it uh, lighter going on the inner part of the corner of the eye. So my initial thoughts are the, the colors in the pan here and here tend to be a little bit darker than what they actually go on on the eye. I had expected this one to go on pretty strong. It didn't. So if you like light grays and you're afraid to use grays because they are, um, they might be too dark or hard to blend, etc., these two are going to be great for you. So I did use kind of a packing technique um, to pull up more of the product and get the a little bit darker, but I still wish that this color had been like it is more in the pan, which is, you know, kind of a darker color. So for me, it it is they blend well they're beautiful um, I could tilt my head back and I have no skipping no uh, blotchiness nothing so these things blend amazing I think the formula is spot-on I just wish that this would have been a little darker now as far as these two babies go they perform just like they do in the pan so there wasn't any surprise there um, the gunmetal and then the little bit lighter gray, this light gray just went on like butter. Um, this gunmetal color went on perfect. I didn't use, need to use my fingers. I was actually able to use a brush, which I really would rather use a brush than my finger. So I give that one like an A+. I can't wait to see um, what other, I probably can do a good two more looks out of this, but I know that I'll put at least one more on my channel just to give kind of an idea of how did the rest of the colors perform. So that is my first impression on the Nubia's Place palette in the corals. So if you'd like to see how I came up with this grayish look to go with my blue dress today, you are in the right spot, so stay tuned. I'm gonna start with this grayish color here. I'm gonna take this gray color here, put it on one side of the brush, I'm gonna flip it upside down and work that into the crease. And in all honesty, I thought this gray was going to be a lot darker. And I was really going to go for more of a gray kind of smoky-ish look cuz I love some smoke. It doesn't seem to be as dark going on as what it is in the pan. So I'm going to grab this darker gray foiled shadow. And then we're going to use the lighter for the inner corner. I'm going to pick back up the gray and kind of blend out any Make harsh it lines. Make a gunmetal eyeliner that they just released this year. So we're going to use that underneath the lash line. I haven't used the Inglot in a while, so we're going to pick up this as a liner for the upper lash line. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to let those dry a moment. Now we're going to apply some mascara. Thank you so much for watching my review on the Nubia's Place Nubia 3 Coral Palette. I hope you enjoyed my first impression of it using the grays. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, please put those below. I'd love to hear what you um, have to say. And I hope you just have a great day. That's just it in a nutshell. Have a great day. Until next time.